This is a video response to Mr. Repsion, who just made a video saying that for all of his life, pretty much, he's been a Christian, but now he's losing his religious faith because of a number of complications that have gone in his life, amongst other things, like feeling he can't logically justify it, not being able to understand things in the Bible. Now, I'm. this just gave me a very interesting reaction. I know that your audience is very mixed. You have some people who are subscribed to you because you were a Christian, and they love that. And you have people who are atheists who came from The Amazing Atheist when he promoted you. And they love the fact that you're capable of being rational. So in these two senses, you had a very wide audience mix. But I feel like the majority of it was the atheist people because that's where a lot of your audience came from. That's where your explosion came from. And I just checked your Social Blade page. I noticed that you've been losing a lot of subscribers today. So I wonder if that has anything to do with it, like people seeing that and just running away. I can imagine that you get an influx of irreligious people saying, hey, congratulations, you're awesome now. I, I see that happen a lot, like in regards to religion, people take it as points, like, hey, you're on that side, but now you're on our side, so that's two points for us. Reminds me of this one comic that I saw where there's a religious person and an irreligious person. The religious person is depressed, but they're using their religion and claim that it's a way to give them hope in life. But the irreligious person is debating the religious person, and they don't know how to respond. So he's like, I guess you're right. There's no God, no religion. And then the atheist is like, yay! And he marches off in victory. And then meanwhile, the ex-religious person now is just like crying because he feels like there's no hope. I, I feel like you're using this almost as a point, like saying, I like life sucks, I'm depressed, and now I'm not religious. You're not an atheist, you said, but you said that you're leaving religion. Now, I'm not religious myself, so I agree with that point, but I feel like what you're doing is largely based on your emotions. And that's not a bad thing. In fact, I wish that I worked for my emotions a lot more. Maybe I'd have more fun with life and I'd be able to understand people better. But I feel like when you're working from emotions, the way that you function can be very tied together. It's not like organized and planned, like you know you're going to do this and this. It's just sort of whatever feels right comes out. And when you do that, you tend to work from a very systematic way. I feel like that's what's happening here. You got depressed, a lot of things are happening. Apparently there's this girl that you like that it's not going to work out with. You've had problems with your dad's health issues. You've had things going on with your YouTube channel, which I don't know if that's leading to any problems. But, you know, I feel like since your religion was such a huge deal for you, and then you're saying that you're abandoning it in the light of all these bad things, I think that that's a sign that you could be entering a sense of depression almost, like where things just stop mattering to you. Once again, I agree with the point that you shouldn't believe in religion, that's me personally, but just because somebody gets to that point also doesn't mean that I'm going to champion them as being a point on my side, so to speak, even though, you know, disregarding whatever reasons you might have arisen there. Basically, what I'm saying is I'm worried about what's going on with you. You sound like you've been really beat up and stressed lately. I'm really sorry about that. And I, I guess just watch what's going on. Make sure that you don't fall down a negative spiral. Because you are a really good person. You're one of the few people on YouTube, I feel like, who can talk about controversial stuff and take a stance on things and yet not be douchey about it. And I really respect that. But I, I hate to see you take such a negative spiral. I feel like I'm repeating myself, so I'll probably just stop. I'm not sure what conclusion I'm reaching. Just, you know, watch yourself. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, and I don't want you to start feeling really strongly negative about yourself.